Guys, welcome. We're going to be looking at the 2008 Japanese drama, little bit of light comedy, Departures. And this was directed by Yojiro Takita and stars Masahiro Motoki, Ryoko Hirosu, and Sutomo Yamazaki. And this is a beautiful film. It won the Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film. And you know what? Let's find out why. Departures begins by introducing us to Diego Kobayashi, played by Masahiro Motoki, a devoted cellist who's out of the job when his orchestra disbands. Short on cash and with the support of his loving wife, played by Ryoko Hirusu, they make the move from the big city to the country to start anew in Diego's old hometown where his deceased mother has left him her house. In need of work, Diego finds a well-paid job requiring no experience in the newspaper entitled Departures. Believing it is a travel agency position, he attends an interview and meets his new employer played by Sutomo Yamazaki. However, he quickly discovers that the job doesn't involve helping people depart the country, but depart this world. あ、旅の手伝いをするって書いてあったのに僕は、あ、適旅行代理店かなと。あ、これ the job involves encoffining the departed in a traditional Japanese ceremony known as no kanshi, in which you prepare the deceased for entry into the next life. Hesitant, Diego accepts the position, but is apprehensive about telling his wife what the job actually entails. Thrown headfirst into the world of the departed, Diego struggles with the unappealing side of the job, but witnesses the power and the effect his work has on the families and friends of those affected and in turn develops great pride in what he's doing. Eventually, his wife does find out and while she and others in town find it difficult to accept his new line of work, Diego discovers himself and the beauty and joy of life. As I said, this is a beautiful film. You really feel for these characters. It's got a great cast, particularly uh, Masahiro Motoki and Ryoko Hirosu. These guys are really convincing as a couple, and you can't help but get invested in Masahiro's character's journey. It's really heartwarming and heartbreaking, particularly this side story about his father, which is really heartbreaking, but you know, heartwarming at the same time. So it is a drama, it is emotional, but it is infused with light comedy. So the film's got a good balance. So you're not leaving the film like, Ugh, like totally drain. You're living at this level, which is better than this level, and you're living at this level, whatever that level is. And though this tradition of Japanese no kanshi is minimally practiced in today's society, Departures provides a wonderful insight into this Japanese culture, which Westerners like myself would rarely get to see, which makes this film all that more special. So it is really worth your time checking out. Um, it might be two hours long, but it's a beautiful film, imagery and story-wise, perfect for a rainy day, so a thumbs up for me. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Press that subscribe button below, that way we'll see each other next time. Until then, I'm Paddy McManus. Wow!